Hello once again everybody, this is Hefla TV presenting Mineski Pro Gaming League, the Southeast Asian Qualifiers. It is Arrow Gaming versus Drink Milk in the last two game series of the day. Arrow Gaming, well, if they want to advance for sure, they have to win this. And Drink Milk, well, even if they win this, they probably don't even stand a chance. So actually, I guess they stand a small one, but we will see. Arrow Gaming, they are definitely the favorites coming into this. Especially considering the Drink Milk, they actually have yet another drafter for themselves. This time the captain, or I think it, he's the captain at least, but he's from Kingdom as it is. And well, my name is Coucher and I am joined by Mito. Yeah, so once again, we've, we're gonna be casting games. Hurrah! So always happy there. And looking at what's going on right now, the bands are coming out. It's gonna be Doombringer and Panda and Brewmaster for Arrow Gaming. For Drink Milk, they definitely don't want to see a a Daria Lycan, so they removed that, and they have yet to decide what's going to be the second ban. My guess has to be Scarath Mage, Razor, Shadow Shaman, or Tidehunter, along those lines. Or even Faces Void, right? Yeah, it's, it would make sense at least. And, well, Faces Void does get banned out here Razor. at least, and Arrow Gaming, first pick Razor for them. Well, they just got back from TI, so their mentality probably still somewhat related to TI. Still remember just Razor first pick every game for almost every single team. If it's not if it's not a Razor, it's gonna be a Faces Void or plus Skyrath Mage. If not, then you have Tidehunter plus Shadow Shaman. Are we ready to go into the next chapter of Dota when things really switch up? New heroes, techies coming in. Uh, Everyone's still waiting for it. <laughs> I'm not. I hope that hero never comes. Because in pubs, it's going to be impossible to play. Everybody's going to play it every single game and it's going to be awful. But in this game, at least, I mean, overall, do you actually see drafts changing a hell of a lot before a next huge patch comes? Or No. Um, if I recall correctly, this patch has already been out for over five months. And it, it truly has stabilized. It's time for a little bit of a switch up. Prior to TI4 though, a lot of teams are still scrambling around, looking for the correct balance, the correct kind of playstyle, per se. If you look at the summit, there were a lot of confusion and chaos there. Every team was running different things. Some team had Centaur, um, some team have Tidehunter, some team have a lot of Doom. We even see Bane Elemental left, right, center. But ever since TI happened, it feels like it has set um, exactly just what the teams have been playing. Yeah, definitely this kind of sold. Actually, at the moment, Drink Milk, I'm not too sure if they're having like connection issues or what the case is, but they're taking a long, long time just going for the first pick already. And I guess heroes like Tidehunter, Viper, Shadow Shaman, maybe even the Sky of Mage. And they start with a Shadow Demon, actually, of all heroes. So, what do you think it's gonna lead into here? Mirana, that's gonna be my guess. I really don't want to see a less track, if at all possible. But a Jakiro would always be nice, but that's not high priority pick as of now. Um, wow. Actually, just thinking back, just how much change have we seen over the past half year? We used to see Mirana picked up every single game, and it's definitely gonna be a first pick. That hero was considered ridiculously strong, because it works in every position. And now looking at things, Razor kind of fits into the same field of just it's a hero that can do so much in so many different scenarios just the versatility allows these hero to be first pick yeah it's i just think it's maybe a little bit outdated i'm not too sure but well we will see at the moment drink milk they must have something in plan but well, they go for his centaur as well so I mean, yes, Soul Catcher into Double Age. It is deadly, but is it worthy enough for just wasting the first two picks for them? I just have no idea. I'm just completely thrown off by the start of the draft. Well, if you pick up a Centaur in the first pick phase, then you're going to expect an Invoker ban um, in the middle of the draft, unless you're going to predict it's going to be an Invoker and then you counter the Invoker. Um, Earth. It could simply go either way, but well, that's not the only way you can play it, right? There's still plenty of things um, that you can do with the Centaur. I'm hoping for a Centaur tri-lane actually now. 
Centaur Trilane. Oh, that's sick. I would love to see it happen once again, but... Is, are we truly going to witness a Centaur Trilane? Um, I have my doubts. It just doesn't seem as popular anymore. Yeah, the hero with um, a solo lane, gaining those levels, really makes a high impact. Yeah, he definitely does. Just so good against most matchups. Although, nowadays, heroes like Viper are pretty popular as well. Matching up like that, definitely not the best for Centaur. But Arrow Gaming, having the Earthshaker for themselves, both teams actually, funny enough, completely overlooked the Shadow Shaman, for example. Otherwise, a hero that has been picked up every single game, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit crazy, because Shadow Shaman, that hero, everybody loves it right now. Um, the only downfall is it's, it's really fragile, and without a Blink Dagger, sometimes it, it can be it's extremely difficult to initiate upon the opponents. Um, however, though, this Earthshaker pick is a brilliant pick. Earthshaker is such a good counter to Shadow Demon with the follow-ups. You see Shadow Demon, as soon as he disrupts, say your follow-up is going to be a Leshrac, or a Kunkka Torrent, whatnot. He can just easily throw down a Fisher, and you're, that's the end of your combo. You're not going to be able to connect the skills. Yeah, it's, it was really smart as well when I thought about it. So, I mean, nice pick from Arrow. Hoping for some extra synergy maybe even. But Death Prophet was the secondary ban in the second phase from Drink Milk. Ember Spirit taken up by Arrow. So Drink, are they going to go for some additional magic damage? Maybe something else that can follow up, of course, the disruption. We were already talking about not wanting to see the less rack. I am still hoping to get my Lina. It's just not picked at all. Navi went for one game against Cloud9, I think it was. They lost. Give me a Lina that wins. Or give me a Lina even that loses. I don't care. Everybody... Well, I think everybody wants to see some switch up in heroes. And Lina would definitely be something that's out of the ordinary. And there are some good setups. You have the Centaur Stun. You have the Shadow Demon. I wish I really want to go back to one of the old patches. Back when Versus Pro were at their prime. With like Vigos, Light of Heaven, those guys. Man, just the four man Blink Dagger plus a Mirana. It's like ultra, ultra mobility. The team just, like, say you have a carry that's farming the lane, and then boom, suddenly you have five heroes standing next to you. You're surrounded, and you instantaneously die. I miss that kind of flashy team team play, and it's been so long. Lena, though, would be, would be perfect in line with those. Yeah, and actually, at the moment, Drink Milk, they go for a Queen of Pain instead. If anybody's soul catcher, the Queen of Pain can definitely make really good use of that. So across the three heroes they have, there's excellent burst damage potential coming out. And Queen of Pain, mid lane against Razor or well on any lane against Razor, can of course just avoid the uh, static link with his blink out. And Arrow Gaming going for an Enchantress actually now as their secondary support, the number four position. I do believe they played Oh never mind, it was Insidious Idol going for the aggressive Enchantress. I don't even yes. remember anymore. Man. It was the Enchantress that changed the outcome of the game. Um, in the previous matchup, when Drink Milk, they had the scariest looking teamfight lineup with like the Death Prophet, with the Ember Spirit, but the Enchantress just tore them apart. And I think Enchantress, it's an underrated hero. Um, it's only appreciated by teams like Newbie. They used to pick Enchantress first pick every single game, and then afterwards they just got respect banned out. Wow, this is big. Enigma, this is something we haven't seen in ages as well. Um, in terms of like non-TI4 related games. But this hero, it's also an insane jungler. The fastest jungler in the game. Um, it's going to be really, really cool to watch how both support players rotate around during the early game phase. Because they both offer a lot of ganking potentials. And they can push Taros at a ridiculous pace. Yeah, it's... Of course... Hoping that we will see big black holes, but I've seen so many games that actually even one game there was like Tidehunter, Enigma. I I'm pretty sure there was one extra hero with a huge ultimate as well, but they just got wrecked like 13, 14 minutes into the game or something. Couldn't even pop their ultimate properly. Oh no! <laughs> but I'm just hoping well, that heroes. this time will be different. Of course, Centaur will help just in creating the chaos for the Enigma to just come in as well and get this black hole off. And Arrow Gaming, well, they pick up a Puck now, so that of course can disable Enigma from a long range with the Dream Coil. But before this, they only had the Earthshaker, although Earthshaker, he really likes to just stay far enough back anyway as it is to just 
look for the perfect opportunity to disrupt the team fight with his own Fisher. So Enigma, at least there's two heroes that can disable the black hole now on arrow. With only your shaker, it might have been a little bit sketchy for them. Well, looking at how things are going so far, the lineups, drink milk, they have good lockdowns, they have good bursts. And with the incorporation of the Enigma, they can push towers. The only thing I'll be looking towards is if they're on the back foot, their high ground defense will be pretty good, but the earlier towers, it's actually going to be relatively difficult. They have, let's see, Scream of Pain is a little dangerous because you have to get up close, and Puck can actually do a lot of harm if you do. Centaur can't defend towers. Shadow Demon can use the Shadow Poison, and of course you're going to have the Midnight Pulse from Enigma. So for Drink Milk, I think this final hero has to be a carry, um, a big carry. But at the same time, offer some kind of defensive capabilities. Well, do you have any that pop to mind? Although they only have five seconds left to make their decision as it Kunka. is. And you're hoping for the Kanka. Yeah. They go for a Weaver. Well, that's a letdown. I was like, I would have even liked a Spectre way more than this. <laughs> you really don't like Weaver, do you? No, I don't <laughs> like that hero at all. I mean, yes, it's a really strong hero and can go for some peak plays, but. It's pretty easy to blow him up in return as well, especially if there's a puck in the enemy team which just blinks in, waning rifts, and we were almost down. Although then again, Arrow Gaming's lineup overall, they don't have too much to punish the viewer apart from the puck. I mean, Nerve Shaker, viewer can maybe even just completely juke out the uh, fissures as well, even with the hasty movement speed. Hmm. Weaver, 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 how does he work in this lineup? Is he going to be split pushing? Oh wow, Wind Ranger. This is a hero I've been dying to see. I really want to see like say an Aghanim Scepter rush. Um, so you can just split push and take towers at extremely fast pace. Sure it's not, like, you can't do as much damage as getting a Maelstrom first. But it's just something that would be pleasing to the eyes. Oh wow, and so DDZ is going to be the person playing the Wind Ranger. So it's going to be a mid solo Wind Ranger up against the Queen of Pain. Wow, this is one of the old school matchups that receives a lot of attention. Yeah, it's actually pretty damn strong as well. I am completely blanking on what team used it quite a lot. Oh, it was Ursa's Troitram, I think? Not yes, too sure. It was. I do believe it was. Just kind of wrecking on the Wind Ranger. <laughs> oh man. Oh, look at the Enchanters though. Look at those hooves! Well, look at those antlers, is right for him, but. or her. That, that's one shiny enchantress. Oh, they smoke up though. Can they get the first plot this time around? In three games that they've had this game, never mind, they haven't had three games today. My brain is completely farting all around. But this smoke, Johnny. I mean, they have the Fisher, which is just such a long range stun. They should be able to catch somebody, but will they? Fisher comes out. Actually, the Tsukuchi goes around and oh, they get the connection on the shackle shot by DDZ. But nobody is dying, and looks like that's the way it will stay as well. Yeah, it was really start, really smart for Milk, just having the Weaver in front, oh, but, but the Lance. fight's not done. Oh, not the Fisher comes oh, out Shadow. Well, Shadow Man, they're going to get toys as well, I think. Yep, Johnny comes in with Mozum from the side, Disruption came out, make it two kills, or do they actually go down in return as well, Samo Rin. They're going to get DDZ as well now. Why did they... I mean, this Disruption, just making a huge difference, making it so that Arrow has to stay there for a long period of time, and in the end it was 3 for 2 for Milk. And Johnny, he's not in the clear yet even. Pops down a sentry. La 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 la. Well, he can't do too much to an enchantress at the moment. But man, it felt like it went pretty good for Arrow, but in fact, not really. Well, they do get the first blood if I'm if I'm not wrong. So maybe, just maybe, that would be okay. Um, what's happening right now? DDZ already has no region. Wow, he started out with. The maximum deeps build, a null talisman plus four branches. He really wants to be able to outright click the Queen of Pain, just completely out CS. What's happening at bottom though? This actually is an aggressive razor. <laughs> Solo offlane razor. That was definitely not what they had in mind, I think. I mean, Xiang Sai is usually the offlane player or solo safe lane, of course, if they go aggressive side lane. And Razor, he's doing pretty well to be honest on this lane at the moment against the Weaver. Because Toys, he's just counterwarding in the jungle, and of course Enigma completely jungling. 
Yeah, it's... Wow, okay, so I was expecting Arrow Gaming to go in the jungle and plant a couple of wards, prevent Enigma from jungling away, because Enigma, he's gonna be farming faster than anybody else. He's gonna be able to hit level 6 in about 5 and a half minutes or so. Um, wow, look at the mid-solo matchup. Queen of Pain is getting is taking heavy amount of harassment. Arrow DDC, he might even try to go for a power shot. Oh, barely, barely misses. But bottom lane, uh, disruption that... came out. Static link, force disruptor as well lands. Will actually be able to get away. Toys is dropping low as well lands. They actually might get the kill if they're not careful. But now Yomo comes in as well. And with this, they're definitely going to get the kill on lands and make it 4 to 2 for Milk. Wow, so a pretty good opening for Milk. They're already leading on this, um, the kill score. And But this mid lane, it's heavily dominated by DDZ, surprisingly. Like, when I saw he had no regen, I just assumed that Queen of Pain should be able to do just fine. But because all of his tangos were actually pulled, he doesn't have any anything else he could use. He has to wait for another 30 seconds before he can eat the tango. It's actually pretty huge as well because DDZ, his bottle is now coming out on the... Wow, the ugly dog. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> But comparing offlaners at the moment, Lance of course did just give away a kill on the Razor. Not the proper offlaner to begin with anyway. Whereas la 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 on the center war runner, level 3 at the moment. So doing pretty damn well. Might be the target of a gang though, of course. Oh the Fisher, beautiful block coming out. And center well, suddenly nowhere to run. He's gonna go down before the TP actually gets to get him to safety. So nice rotations and Lance will be farming up on this top lane from now on. Oh man, so la 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 la. <laughs> Goes down to that beautiful Fisher. Man, honestly, that, that is one of the coolest names to pronounce. <laughs> it's, it just brings a it's smile awesome. to my face every time I start saying it. <laughs> it makes you want to sing and look forward to your karaoke session. Um, but how are the junglers doing? This is what I think is the most important part of the early game. So Enchantress made the rotation earlier top. And it was a successful gank. But... He is level 3 in 3.5 minutes. Let's see, compare it to the Enigma, who is already level 4.5. But, because some of the camps are warded out, <laughs> he is just wandering left, right, center. He's like, where do I go now? I have no camps to farm. He had actually plenty of time to just make it to the initial B camp, the first one. But he chose not to. Actually, is he scouting out something now, or does he actually have something on the Chikun? Yes, the Soul Ring is there for him, so... I mean, even though... His life is just a pain in the ass with the wards being, or the camps being warded rather. He's still doing rather nice and of course Enigma is the fastest jungler but oh speaking of junglers, Center might be in trouble, Johnny is gonna come in, can he get the stomp, the Fisher is there first, war stomp, actually oh no, nope. the hoof stomp came from la 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 before and now the plasma field, one more right click, they get it, just barely lands, that was ooh, the, ooh. whoa. <laughs> I wanna say his name again, la 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 la, he dies. <laughs> oh, and I at yeah. bottom was it? Wow, pockets picked off surprisingly by the Shadow Demon. Yeah, we so, were though pretty bottom. hard for that as well. The last Tsukuchi damage was enough to just take him down. Soul Catcher, when the Soul Catcher ended, did the majority of it. Oh, this bot tower is gonna go down extremely fast if Arrow Gaming doesn't use the glyph or if nobody comes to defend. But Puck, he is starting to make his way towards the bottom lane. Wow, this Puck actually went for a face boots. Well, just, I mean, maybe he had face boots, or he was expecting maybe to lane against the center for a longer time, so just actually wanted for to go for the right click harass, and I, mean, I guess movement speed, trying to get out of Enigma's way before he gets Malphite, or maybe something like that. Although, I mean, delaying the blink dagger will never be good on a puck, I think. Indeed, well, face boots it does make your last hitting a lot easier. Maybe that's what it's for. Mm. As well as the right click, it's always pretty good. But will this puck be able to sustain against the siege? Well, Do you think? Illusion Reorb is decent enough. It is only level 1 though. He's actually maxed out Painting Rift, which I do like because he's up against the Weaver and the Queen of Pain to just lock them down. But Green, he has a Hand of Midas flying out to him as a Weaver. And of course, from the lineup, it's pretty apparent that Weaver. He's the one who has to be the just heavy right click game carry if it gets to the late game. Mm -hmm. Don't forget though, if the puck ever uses the Illusory Orb to try and clear some creep wave, they're definitely gonna go they're going for the stun. 
And then if Shadow Demon gets a disruption, that is a guaranteed dead puck. <laughs> so has to be so careful. Yeah, it's actually level 5 as well at the moment. Power Shot comes out, he's scouting one by DDZ who finds himself a double damage rune. One lucky shackle or well, skilled, skilled shackle, let's put it like that. He might get the kill on Queen of Pain even. Especially if they can somehow bait out his blink before. This is a 12 second cooldown on the first level. So, not too spammable at all. And DDZ, he's going for the man fight for the time being. Double damage activated the shower. Immediate blink out and DDZ now. Will he go try for the shackles? Wow, but the Queen of Pain has definitely caught up in terms of last hits. Wow, they're completely dead even. It's actually pretty sick. I mean, none of them has actually left the lane. At least not for a long, prolonged period of time. They're just getting runes at best. So Queen of Pain just waits for the creeper to come actually into his own tower. Then farms them off with Scream of Pain. And then once again, DDC pushes out the lane with Power Shot. Queen of Pain farms it, farms it up with Scream of Pain. Oh man. Man, this pause is pretty hectic. So now everyone's just pinging out top. Because Arrow, they want to go for the counter tower push. They already lost the tower. Two and tower down bottom, so they want one of their own at top. And now I bet Milk they're discussing whether or not to defend this tower. And should they defend it? So Weaver has already made his way top. And I wouldn't be too surprised if say the Shadow Demon rotates top to help out. Or does he want to just get some levels and get some last hits? Well the Fisher comes out on the wrong side of center, he gets away from the war stop. And we have another pause, the static link is activated. That sound is god awful and green. Well, the Weaver, how much can he actually accomplish here? But the TPs are coming in as well. There is the Queen of Pain. So actually, the angle at the moment would hit uh, both Johnny as well as Lance with her ultimate. Oh man, TPs are coming in. Well, Weaver is going to be a sneaky hero as he tends to be. But Johnny has two levels in Untouchable, which means, man, Weaver's attack animation is already pretty bad. I don't know how he's going to be able to right click Johnny, so that probably won't be his prime target. But however, Mosin already uses Fisher. That might be, that just might be the hero that's easy to kill. But of course, Lance is standing in the front line. So what's Rin going to go for? He's got three heroes to choose from. Probably say Lance, right? Because he doesn't really want to run all the way in the back. And since since Lance is trying to kill La 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 La, uh, he won't be focusing on Rin. Mind games, mind games. Everyone just ping them out. Is Puck TP? Nope. Puck is just finding some space. Let's see who who can possibly TP. Shadow Demon has a TP. Um, Enigma can just go to a secret shop. He's already facing that direction. I'm just gonna assume he's gonna go for it. Grab a TP. Yeah, I do think so, although no black hole for Enigma at least. And I just can't look at the top lane at the moment because the sound is just horrible. And probably the viewers will agree with me. I tried, oh, to, man. I tried to check the top lane like when you were talking about who do sh they should go for and I was like, oh man, I got to look away. But they are back. Gonna come back to the camera as well and who will they go for in the center board? He wants to turn it around as well Lance. Will he get slowed down? The scream of pain, Johnny is so low, the tower helping out. The, oh man, Sonic Wave. Beautiful angling. Double kill or well actually not the double kill, the tower actually killed off Enchantress, but worthy TP as a rotation, Shadow Demon was like, oh man, I just wasted a TP, I wasn't even needed. Oh man, I think it was the pause that gave him the victory. But hey, they don't they don't need to complain, right? Because it was Arrow that made the pauses. It was Arrow that went for the dive. And Arrow got punished for the pause. Actually Lance came in bottom lane racer? The Omo Kompaku, <laughs> unfortunately for him, the Eidolons died immediately to the Plasma Field and 168 points of damage to the Lance, he wants to continue, unfortunately he doesn't have base boots or any fast boots at all, Yomo trying to juke it around one more right click Lance. What is solo killing Xiang Tsai? He's down again, he seems to be having some serious internet issues, but mid lane disruption came out, the defensive one, same in the Queen of Pain. Oh man, this Enigma is getting stalled up by so much. Only 27 last hits in 8 minutes. Well, the game is paused once again, but it's okay, we can continue talking. Um, generally, you want an Enigma to have a mech by roughly the 10 minute mark, or say a Blink Dagger to be effective. And right now, he is truly struggling. He can buy a block Buckler, 
and a little bit more, but that mech is nowhere near. And without the mech, Milk, they don't have any sustainability in team fights. They fight once, and then hey, there's no more heal, and it's gonna, it's gonna affect them somewhat. Yeah, and speaking of the mech razor, almost as it another fisher onto la 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 Xiang Sai is there as well. Dream Coelisius, but still, do they have enough? Illusior winning if rift it should be a but Xiang Sai dropping low to the tower. He's gonna go down and center. He survives. Man, that was sloppy and DDZ gonna miss with the portrait as well. Compact. Is he gonna go for the black hole? Come on, go for it. Malfa is easy at the moment, and now X Shadow is there as well. An additional slow Shadow Strike. Scream of Pain used a few more right clicks. Should be enough to get the kill. Or will it actually don't let DDC escape, guys? And indeed they don't. Oh man. When Wind Ranger died, I thought the hat was a gem. Because um, DDC's Wind Ranger has a green hat. And down the bottom, what's going on? Rin, is he gonna go for the kill on Lance? Oh, he doesn't have any, any mana for time lapse. Is he really gonna go for this? Well, the stepi came oh. out as well to actually help him, but I mean, good choice that he did. One more tower hit actually probably would have killed him straight out. So, oh man, going for risky plays. I mean, I guess Razor has to back off as well, but we were had a longer way to run, and Lance now has his mech as well, so he's doing just fine. Wow, if either team had only had Sunstrike, that would pretty much secure a kill. Yeah, if there would have been a stampede like 1 to 2 seconds earlier as well by Milk, that already would have been enough to get the additional slow and razor that extra damage as well. But some TP to the top lane, Lance actually comes there on the razor. So they want to defend the tier 1, and everybody from Milk is backing off, but are they doing a fake pack to smoke? I do think so. Oh, come on, don't be oh, disappointed. Come on, go for it. Smoke, smoke. Oh, they're doing huge wraparound. What is going on? This is crazy. We just talked about Enigma not doing too well. He is only 600 gold away from the mech, so it's actually not that bad. You can easily get 600 gold in about 2 minutes or less. It's still not the fastest as Xiang Sai gets yet another disconnect. I have a feeling this might be a long, long game. No, oh, no. No, we won. Action. Action or riot. And Indeed. what is this Queen of Pink doing right now? Oh wow, he is. Oh, the waiting for into the Weaver, the power shot as well is so low! Whew. Time lapse is out, but actually, his time lapse put him on another side of the Fisher, I think. Oh, is it? I think so. I, I'm pretty sure he started on this side of the Fisher, went like, ran like, bang him into the river. Ah, because I was looking at top just then. I was looking at the Queen of Pain hiding in the secret shop and wondering what he's gonna do. And I see a lot of pings coming out at mid. DDC definitely wants to get a shackle on Rin, but this is not oh, happening. Oh, the swarm comes out, connects only onto DDC as well as the creeps. But Johnny, oh, X Shadow, come on, be a man, do the right thing, jump in. But still, how can Arrow continue like this? I mean, Xiang Sai, somebody must be microing him at the moment, but that's not the most favorable thing to do in a game. My bet would be Johnny, since he's a support player and he's playing Enchantress, right? And so far he doesn't have any creeps with him. So, <laughs> Shang Tsai might just be the creep that he's microing. Oh wow, I mean, oh the disruption comes out, do they have the follow up as well? Sukuchi is there, but the Fisher actually blocks them for a little while. Is he gonna get slowed down? The Sonic Wave just barely catches him! The Echo Slam is there and Mech lands. What a timing to just TP in, pop the mech, keep TDZ alive. And now Yomo Kompaku, he's on the run, Static Link is there. One Impetus came out as well. And they might even not need Xiang Tsai if they just do this. No, well, Xiang Tsai almost has a blink dagger, so that, that has to be good, right? I mean, even if the player is not here, if somebody can micro the puck to the point where he gets a blink dagger... Oh, wait. Even if he gets the money for the blink dagger, how is he going to buy it? Oh, man. This, oh, no. Well, he has to reconnect at some point, at least, I think. He's been reconnecting, wow. like, after one or two minutes, mostly, I think. They said they have PC issues as well, but Johnny gonna get slowed down. A nice shackle actually hits on both heroes. Power shot to follow as well. One more right click, Queen of Pain. No blink for her. What a turnaround from DDZ. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful shackle from DDZ. Showing us just the reason why they picked the Ranger and Jeff for him. And once again, we have another pause. <laughs> well, they were like, it's gonna be back fast. And when two minutes later, it's like, okay, Puck is still disconnected. I guess we do have to pause, but at the moment, we can actually look at the graphs now, 12 minutes into the game, 
It used to be a two and a half thousand gold lead, which has dropped down to 1k now, arrow. They're, well, they have been picking some kills as well lately and not giving too much in return. XP wise, it is only a 120 XP difference and Arrow is in the lead. So, craft wise, I mean gold slightly in favor of milk, XP even less in favor of Arrow. Just, I just realized yeah. even our admin DC'd <laughs> and just reconnected. And looking at a couple of important items though, Enigma, 50 gold away from that mech. Is that going to be big? I think it's going to be pretty game changing. Right now it feels like there were a couple of fights where Milk fought. Imagine if just now the Queen of Pain and Enigma, when they got shackled, when they got shackled together, right afterwards, if the Enigma had the mech then and there, Queen of Pain would have gone out safely without any issues at all. Yeah, he certainly would have. And we already saw the mech on Arrow making a difference there, just keeping the Windrunner alive. Wind Ranger. God damn. <laughs> but uh, do we have any other huge pickups? DDC up to 1.2 or 2.2k gold almost. So do you think it's just gonna go for straight up blink, maelstrom, four staff? Or I what? think in this game, Orchid might be the preferred choice of item. Um it's a great item against Weaver, it's a great item against Queen of Pain. These heroes rely on having their abilities to escape. Um, without, if they get silenced up, they are just fragile. So low HP, so little. Look at look at Weaver right now, 720 HP. If it weren't for the Tsukuchi and the time lapse, this hero would just be a walking creep. Yeah, I think we saw it once already as well. Like one power shot in the face, you're down to half HP because power shot. 360 damage on the first target so definitely not a nuke that you can just continuously take into your face like that and centaur he's only 130 gold away from his own blink dagger so that's actually going to be a huge pickup as well so if milk if they can get the mech onto enigma blink dagger onto centaur their team fight and just overall map presence is just gonna multiply mm. Finally, Zhang Zai is back. Hell yeah. and he Maybe is he very, changed very computer, sorry. depending on if he's in, at the net cafe or not. Well, I hope things work out this time, and our game can go smoothly. Well, we do get this underway, so... I mean, I think that's the third time he got disconnected and reconnected, and well... I, I bet he's happy to see, like, wait, I remember I didn't have the blink tagger. Oh, I have enough gold for it, nice! Thanks for farming with me. <laughs> oh, so this is gonna be big. Oh, Radiant Courier is... died? Where, where the hell did he actually die? There was no, nothing no on idea. it, but still, a tower worth of gold almost. Yeah, this is the first time Puck up blinked though. So this could be a very, very easy pick off. Rin, Rin, you're in a lot of trouble if you're not careful. Good thing all the trees are cut. And Rin is being really smart about it. Just hiding behind a couple of trees. Juking around, listening to HYHY. Oh, but whoa, he is really living life on the edge. Oh no, they have an observer ward that scattered things out. That's why. Yeah, center, I didn't no, pay they want to turn it around, but they jump into free hoof to actually catch all three of them as well. Chiang Sai goes down before he does anything. The Fisher comes out now, la la la. Well, Impetus is flying, Lance gonna chase him down, Plasma Field helps out. They get that return, but in the end, they want for one time left out from Rin as well. Really smart decision there. And we'll probably get to safety. But in the meantime, the mid tower is gonna start taking some harassment at least. But Rin, does he really want to turn it around? Sukuchi comes out. Mozo is low as well. Nice bottle sharing from DDZ. Putting some charges onto the Earthshaker. Will we see another Fisher? Actually, he didn't even attempt it. And now the moon. Oh, the black hole catches all three just before the Fisher came out from the Earthshaker. Do they have enough to get some more force left onto Lance by GDC? So that was his item choice. Earl, the swarm coming out as well. They need a little bit extra. He doesn't touch the swarm, not quite. Egg Shadower. He comes in, pops the Sonic Wave, catches free. They get Lance. DDC drops low as well. Rin, he really wants to go deep, but bottled up. Nice win run as well. Rin actually might fall down now here. Magic Stick, not gonna be enough oh, for DDC. Oh. One right click away from death and Centaur Xiaxai, <laughs> no peace silence is even for Man, what a crazy chain of events this was. Man, once again, it's that mech. The courier getting sniped off. They couldn't get the mech on an Enigma. If Enigma had the mech and he was able to follow up to his teammates, Queen of Pain wouldn't have died. 
Weaver wouldn't have died, and it would have been two kills going their way. Wow, this mech, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a mech that made that much of a difference uh, during the early game. Yeah, it's, it's going amazingly well for Arrow, to be honest. I mean, it looked like disaster mode with that black hole coming out like that. I mean, that was just perfect timing. A split second later, Mosin would have gotten the Fisher instead, gone in for the Echo Slam probably. But not happening, and well, the mech, the mech, man. I bet Milk is like, oh, whoever killed that courier, just gonna get some spanking later on. But oh man. For Arrow, just looking at Razor, he hasn't finished any kind of boots, just brown boots for him, and going for the Agon Interceptor straight out after the mech. Wow. <laughs> He's a baller, he doesn't want any kind of boots. And at the same time, it seems like DDZ has decided what he's going to be going for. He finishes up the... Oh, what's happening at mid? Anything? Nope. Seems like everything's A-OK. -okay. Um, DDZ, though, he completes a 4 staff and he is heading towards the Orchid Malevolence. Oh, man. That's going to be oh, such a powerful item. Jiang Sai, he pops in, silence onto two. Actually, Dream Coil was waiting with it. There's the Fisher as well, Toys. One more like it might be enough. He pops the Dream Coil. That will get a kill and stampede. Well, it didn't get them anything done because this Fisher just blocked them in. But X Shadower, he's waiting for it. Ultimate on cooldown, unfortunately. Goes for the slow anyway. The hoof stomp is there. Double H to fall as well. The purge. La 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 la. Is he gonna go down? He's still on the run, but power shot does get the kill. There is he, unfortunately. The shackles, they do not latch on anybody. But a 3 for 0 exchange. And Arrow. I heard a Malphi. So yet, with the level damage from Johnny. Wanted to chase him down. Oh man. Not gonna happen, I think. He should be safe. Or will it? The Fisher comes out joining Impetus. Actually, Yomo goes close to him, but it's just a matter of time before he dies. And now Xiang Sai gets the silence. Auto toys as well. High ground. Oh, dear, is a nice force step onto the low ground instead. The disruption, though. Torch is this? The power shot. Oh, the shackles connect now. Queen of Pain. Do they have another waning riff? It's on cooldown. And he does get the blink out. Or does he join it? They're giving chase. Xiang Sai, he finds him. He has vision as well. One more blink. Woo! Oh man, this game has been a battle of like split second differences. So oh, many green. times I felt like Milk could have done it. He's oh. gonna go for a Mosin, he's probably gonna get the kill as well. Xiang Sai gets the blink out. Earthshaker goes down to the double H, but now Johnny, does he really want to hang around? He's trying to run away as well. Hoof stop is there. Oh, look at that <laughs> swing! Oh my god! Whew. He got the kill in with the double H, but that swing. <laughs> oh man, that was so cute to look at. He lifted his axes, everything was going slow motion. Oh, Stampede comes out, they want to chase for more Shadower. He went for the Scream of Pain, it didn't connect, but they get the kill anyway on the puck. And now Sonic Wave DDC goes down as well. Strike back from Milk, 16 to 16 the kill score. And XP wise, or gold wise rather, Milk 2k ahead, XP 6000 for Arrow. Might change now if it updates. Wow, I can totally hear the Milkshake song in my head right now, you know? After that team fight, it's like, my Milkshake bring all the boys to your... Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that was a moral victory as well as just getting some, some of the footings in this game. It feels like they started out strong, especially with the fight at top, um, with a bunch of pauses. And then suddenly they just started losing grip. And finally, once again, they're playing like a team. Yeah, and actually Enigma up to 2.5k gold as well. X Shadower has his PKB finished now, and actually, what's your take on Queen of Pain's rushing PKB? I think it's a good choice, because there's so much silence. There's Fisher, and then there's Shackle Shot. So many things that can hold you in place. And as we can see, DDZ is heading towards the Orchid. By the time he gets the Orchid, Queen of Pain has a PKB, then it's like, well, you're not going to be able to stop me from getting away anymore. Yeah, and there's a big, there's gonna be a PKB on Rin soon as well, just needs the recipe for Xiang Sai, wants to get Rin though, the Fisher comes out, silence to follow and well, no time lapse. Actually, well, I don't know why, but he even used the Dream Coil there. Whose PKB was that? Oh, it's the Queen of Pains. Man, but... Oh, yo, he goes in the black hole, catches the Willy Pin up, nothing to stop it, the Fisher comes a little bit too late, but Johnny... Oh, they still dish out the damage, the Echo Slam, it was huge from Mosin. Suddenly, three heroes, bam, down. Actually, well, they got two here, but Toys is gonna fall as well. Make it three for now. Weaver already died before. Now, it was a nice idea from Yomo. Got a nice blink initiation. But you need to get the Earthshaker. And my Echo Slam. Yeah, the patience there. It was 
well deserved. I mean, if Mosin had him had him played cautiously and actually move forward with the rest of his team, getting caught in the black hole, that fight would have been very, very different. And right now, I feel like Milk, they really need a way for a BKB on an Enigma. And sure, Enigma got some really sick black holes, but I have to question, would a BKB be better than, say, the Blink Dagger? And I don't know. It gets me thinking. I believe it's BKB is much more useful than the Blink Dagger because if you want to go in, you have the Stampy from the Centaur that can help you initiate. And you can easily follow up, so... Actually, no. I'm not a huge fan. Oh man, Earthseeker has a Blink Dagger now, Lance. I can accept they're finished. Uh, Orchid gonna be finished in about 500 gold for Wind Ranger as well. I mean, they just suddenly have so many items and the kill score used to be 16 to 16 at some point. Oh man, yeah indeed. It was very balanced when it was at mid. And all of a sudden, that was like 5 additional kills for Arrow. And now Arrow is starting to push the tier 2 down a bot. And this has to be something that Milk would love to contest. They're not far behind, so why not? They definitely have the burst and like, they go in, Johnny gets stunned up, actually, or he's gonna go deep, he has the BKB, can he actually activate this whole dream coil, there? He gets his BKB off, but Rin, he goes down, no time lapse once again as Johnny, Sonic Wave, someone's still alive, healing up, of course, with the nature's attendance as well. And now Toys, he's on the run. Another two easy kills for Arrow, at least they made it look easy. Wow, a sick play from Zhang Sai. He completely dodged the Sonic Wave. Man, that must have really sucked. Couldn't even pick up a off flame puck. Essentially, that was a zero for how many trade? I don't even know. Right. And this was arrow one of And Zhang Sai, wow. Illusions. But Lance gets stunned up. There's the hoof stop as well. Do they have enough? No double H actually even attempted. I mean, double H and the Scream of Pain would have been enough. I mean, plenty actually. 30 HP remaining on lands. Oh man, that was so close. Just a tiny bit more. But nonetheless, it's not gonna happen. And DDC has finished his Orchid and still has another 1600 gold. This guy is just so freaking rich. It's not even funny. Look at the graphs. <laughs> no wonder why he's rich. A 10k gold swing. From 5k oh, in my favor goodness. of milk. Suddenly, exactly 5k for Arrow. And XP. Well, from 3k in Arrow's favor to 12k. No, oh, dear god. Just how the game can change in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Makes me think of that movie title, you know? Gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> well, that, that's more or less what happened here. Just one good fight for Arrow to just get those next items for themselves and completely try snowballing and Razor. He continues the trend of not upgrading his boots of speed. He has a Oblivion staff now, so <laughs> what's the straight up refresher it looks like? Yeah, it's fine because with a boots of speed later on, he can just directly upgrade it into a boots of travels, and he later, if it ever gets to that stage, then he'll be literally one of the fastest moving heroes in the, in this particular game. And with Agonims plus Refresher, we're just looking at towers that will be going down in a matter of seconds. Yeah, they're going for Roche at the moment as well. TDC has a double damage room. Focus fire on Roche. Untouchable from Enchantress just tanks it up so easy. And Roche will go down a little bit before Mill can actually react. They have the black hole, they're smoked up as well. BKB is there on Beaver now, that's what they were waiting for. Unfortunately, it came a little bit too late. But with the BKB, Beaver actually should be able to at least survive long enough to get his time lapse off, if nothing else. Man, I don't know how many times we've seen the DD rune on DDZ. I've seen it at least four times this game. It's, it's, it's insane. Actually, his name is just C, and the DD signifies him having a double damage. Oh, oh nice one there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must be a nice one if you had to call it out like that. <laughs> mm. Anyway, he's actually going for I an like Agonim Scepter as well, possibly now. As his stuff Fisher the end and over club in the inventory. They are pressuring the tier 2 quite heavily here in mid lane. Fisher comes out, the blink in, silence onto X Shadow, but the follow up is not there. Champsai might be in trouble, goes for the team coil as well. That was such a ballsy play, but the mech from Lance keeps him alive. And actually, fuck, he went for a Dagon as well. There's a PKB though, Rin. Does he have enough of this PKB or was it just a bait? They use the Stampede as well, they want to initiate. Will it be enough? Lance, of course, he has the Aegis, even if he dies, doesn't really care. I have the Storm, he is still doing damage as well. The Plasma V comes out, another Fisher. The Shackles connects on both the center and the Enigma and Rin. Got his time lapse off. 
but well he's just using it defensively and he's on the run blink oh look at Xiang Sai he quit in so deep just barely got out there's the shackles do they have enough damage input the plasma field comes out as well soul burn no he activates the PKB the sonic wave lands there's the Aegis gone but back with full mana full HP oh man this is going nuts oh Rin 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 just couldn't stand to the might of the Echo Slam and well is Arrow gonna be pressing for tier 3 it doesn't seem like it they are gonna fall back enjoy their victory um, in that particular fight the gold graph XP graph completely going nuts now oh man it's been like less than six minutes when we've seen this huge massive swing going in favor of Arrow yeah it's definitely with the six minutes like you said it feels like it's come to a point where Milk, they just have to play flawlessly from now and they should come back. And funny enough, Arrow did not have a single BKB on them. Although Milk, they just have so much magic damage to output. And they're the ones who have picked up BKBs themselves. Both the Queen of Pain and Weaver have it. And of course Weaver having to go for a BKB. And similar to a Queen of Pain as well, it really limits their usefulness. Weaver would want to have the Desolator, Queen of Pain. Maybe something like a Orchid to just boost up her damage. Maybe even an Agon Scepter possibly. Which actually might be his next pickup. Has a point booster. But there's a Dagon level 3 now on Puck. Oh, Dagon 3 Puck. The Mr. AFK. He's getting. He's finding plenty of gold as well. Man, this game, when I saw the lineups, I felt it was like both teams have a shot. And Milk's lineup is, is fairly solid. But... As the game progressed, it just feels like they're getting outplayed by Arrow. We need a big hole. The biggest black hole ever. Actually, I thought he's maybe even gonna go for straight up BKB instead of even getting the Blink Dagger. But didn't go for this. I have to storm activated from Lance. It is level 2, I have to storm. Almost level 16 on himself, but he's tier 2. Just taking so much harass. Oh man, he's completely just totally tanking it up. And now this after storm, are they gonna be pushing for a tier three? Arrow has been really patient so far. Yeah, make no mistakes. Actually, pipe finished in center as well. That's gonna help us Lance. Well, he TP's out. Thought like maybe somebody can get in range to stop it, but oh, another Fisher. Can they catch anybody? Rin was on the wrong side, but oh, the shackles are there. Stampede as well, but Xiangxi like, completely blows him up with his take on level three. Now the dream going on to two as well. Pipe gets activated though from the center and DDC just forced up himself to a high ground like a master. But Xiangxi, is he gonna get caught? Can he blink out? Blink, Xiangxi, oh, he loses your up, not quite Fisher. Just had it been a second sooner, would have been enough. And they're on the run now, Rin. Of course, has all the chase that they need. They pop the mech as well. Blink, hoof top, no. They just let Johnny impetus them. And this is the refresher orb finish for Lance. Oh, it's almost level 16 as well. Man, just looking at that fight, just so much mobility from both sides. People are just running all over the place. It's crazy. This is like something I always loved about these C Dota games. People are just like displaying their skills, their individual maneuvers and whatnot. Yeah, it's definitely true for both teams, just. Four staffing out, illusory orbs, blinks coming out aplenty. But at the moment, I do believe that Lance wants to hit that level 16. He's just so ridiculously close to it. But look at Rin. He's gonna limit the creep income for Arrow. Or just, no, he's not even gonna do that. He's gonna TP out straight away. Did you think somebody was chasing him or something? Because I was so sure he's gonna creep skip here. I have no idea as well. But. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Oh, yo! Oh. <laughs> Five man smoke was there, but thank God he was running towards the right side of the jungle. <laughs> oh man, just the understanding of the map. I don't know if it's luck or if it's a skill that he's able to get away. But nonetheless, it's very nice. Oh, but the scare out the courier, and they know somebody's out there. They have to know. But it's just a TP scroll. Yeah, they might get it on the way back though. If they even want to focus it lands, I have to storm activate it. It has a number two as well if he really wants to use it. They did bait out the glyph though. Another creep wave is coming in as well. And well. Yes, he's gonna go for it. Refresher orb activated. I have to storm. Number two coming out as well. And just look at this tower go now. Even focus fire from DDC with the dragon him chapter. He's ready once again. Range Rex. 
Nothing for them to do, but la 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 la. He goes in lands, just gets spurred to Sonic Wave, hits four heroes, Johnny. He's so low, nature's intended, it's gonna heal him back up. Four steps out, will he go down? Yes, he will. The Scream of Pain does finish him up. So, a successful defense. Yes, the range racks go down, but melee racks so much more important. Like Xiang Tsai might even lose his life here as well. John, no, he's gonna go down. Yomo, together with X Shadow, we're waiting for him. But the Blink Echo Slam, oh. is it gonna be enough? The shackles, they don't connect onto Yomo. The focus fires, the right clicks, the mainstream power shot. Actually, it doesn't land on Yomo, only onto La 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 La. Now, the slows onto DDZ in return. Shadow Strike is there, but Windrun gives her amazing movement speed. Four steps away, but still not in the clear. Might get chased down, Drin. Is he gonna take the chance? No, he's not, but Arrow, they felt so confident in the fight. They grouped up against the Queen of Pain and all just. They felt the pain, but now Rin actually might go down the shackles, focus fire! Oh, that turnaround from TDZ, just a master. Wow, one does not mess around with the Agonim Scepter upgrade, Windranger. He is a true carry at this stage of the game. If he finishes, if he leaves the Maelstrom as it is and go for the NKV, then he would just instantly demolish any hero. Is he? No, shackles like they connect, good. silence onto toys, Yomu comes in a little bit too late with that. Actually, my code. No, Mech, Mech is there. I did see he's gonna lose his life finally. 755 gold to Yomu, but man, it was so clutch, you almost got the double there. Oh wow, Queen of Pain has gone for Aghanim Scepter. This is gonna help them out with some tower defending. Um, and to ensure the Creep Wave doesn't actually get close enough to the towers. Um, and they need the burst. It's good, but I just don't think it's the item that they really, really need. Well, um, considering that Arrow mm -hmm. haven't gone for BKBs, it's definitely a bad choice, I guess. That's true, that's true. Um, a Sonic Wave. Man, this just brings back more memories of Techies. Techies with the Aghanim Scepter upgrade. One mine, 750 magical damage. Beautiful. Opponents can never push high ground. You think Tinker's Macho Machine is good? Try a Techie's Mind. <laughs> Man, I really don't want to see that hero in action at all. Gonna <laughs> kill games, gonna kill fun. But, Milk, they're hanging on. Only lost the range racks so far. Arrow, of course, getting themselves. Actually, no. Roshan hasn't respawned yet. About one more minute left, so. Rather long respawn, 10 minutes altogether. But Mozon, he has an ultimate orb on the Earth Shaker. Do you think he's going for an actual sheep stick? Yes! Um, why not? Or oh, Scotty. So his enchant totem is gonna one hit KO somebody. <coughs> I wanna see Mozon just pump those stats. <coughs> Man, we need rapiers and nerve shakers and another disconnect this time around. This is Johnny. And Arrow, they're not pausing at the moment either. He's acting as a living ward at the moment, but it might not be too good. Milk, they smoked up. They might just catch an easy enchanter skill here. Oh no. Johnny, what is happening? Oh, and Lance, he gets stunned. Actually, he popped his refresher on. I have no idea why exactly. The mech is there, but. Did he really think Wait, he can survive what? that and actually go fight? I have no idea. And they, they pinged out. They pinged out Johnny. What is going on? And now Xiangsa, he gets caught as well. Arrow, the free 2 twos are real. No buybacks oh, on either of the heroes. Arrow Gaming, what is happening to them? The AFK Enchantress and then just giving away two free kills. <laughs> the goal graph and XP graph, they're coming back. The, the, this... This is their 3 2, two swag. This is pretty sick, but Milk, they don't want to go in too deep, although Yomo has the blink, has the PKB and the black hole up. But they're, they're just giving so much credit to the Earth Shaker at the moment. Oh, but Toys, will he find TDZ? No, TDZ just barely gets away from him. Oh, that was so clutch. And now Toys, TDZ? I thought like he's gonna Orchid Toys, maybe go for it. Power Shot comes out. Blink is disabled thanks to that and Yomo. Still not gonna follow there, but they're gonna catch Johnny. They get the Malphite, the force up is not enough to get him to the low ground. Should go down. Poof, Tom, double H, a few more right clicks and they go down. Rindo activated this PKB. I hear a silence. Just on toys, no damage follow up. Enchanter spice back as well. So now it's a 5v5. And of course, this is scary. You need to refresh your Orban Lance. Man, what's happening with all the disconnects? 
Uh, I feel really bad for Arrow because I felt like they lost a lot more than they should have. Um, it was just, I think it was a moment of confusion more than anything else. They're probably trying to sort out this the disconnection issue, and then suddenly it's like Lance is like, oh crap, I'm surrounded. Oh, the swarm uh, comes out. They know Roshan is going on, but Rin, he's actually pretty low on mana. BKB on cooldown. He probably actually doesn't want to fight at the moment, so Arrow. This might be the opening to get an easy Roche. Yeah, well, indeed. I say easy, but against a Enigma and a Queen of Pain, it's still pretty scary for them. They are just waiting for their chance. This Roshan is still taking quite some time, oh. and the Swarm is coming in again. Shinx actually dropping low already, PKB coming out from Weaver, he's gonna go for the last static link is activated though, he has to get away. Demonic Birch was there on the Razor as well. Are we gonna see any kills? Oh, Rin drops low, but the Sonic Wave catches Xiang Sai, who is actually gonna go down to Rin. They get two Razor once again down, no buyback. Another 60 second opening, but still three heroes are alive. Earthshaker can always jump into the Roche pit with the Echo Slam if need be. This is just a slightly stand up, but they get the stun now. Shackles on to la 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 la. And will they have enough? No, TDC, he just made himself scarce. Johnny trying to get the four staff away. He's, oh, actually, staying alive for quite a long time. And man, X Shadow, he's gonna have to use another blink. No, he doesn't. La 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 la. He gets it instead. But three heroes down, Enchantress. He already used buyback before. So 70 seconds. I mean, if this is not Roche, I don't know when the timing for Milk is gonna come. Oh, it has to be now, right? It's gotta be. No, instead they want to try and chase down DDZ. But what did they really have that can deal with him? Absolutely nothing at this stage. Any could have PKB then just Malphite's black hole. Would have been worth it, I would say. Yeah. Oh, the Fisher, the Echo Slam, he goes for the solo, might get Weaver as well. No, the stuns come out, he gets the time lapse. I actually think the Enchant Totem right click might have been enough there. Malphite's just <laughs> stopping him from doing it. And they still can't come for Roche, DDZ, he's back. Man, look at the goal graph and the XP graph, it's ridiculous. We we're close to 20,000 XP difference, now is nearing zero. <laughs> for gold, it was, what, 13, 14,000 in favor of Arrow, and we're looking at less than 8,000 now. This game is, <laughs> is driving me nuts. Like, what is going on? Why, what is happening? Like, sure, you gotta give props to Milk playing well, but to me, it just feels like Arrow, either they're suffering from, from some kind of computer issues or internet issues because the way that they have coordinated themselves throughout the past couple of engagements has been really, really awkward. Yo, well, he goes in, PKB activated, he's going for the black hole, yes he is, actually he only catches one though, but if the kill lands, it's gonna be huge because once again, he does not have the buyback and now, oh, DDC gets the force up to the high ground, Changsai, he's there as well, Swarm actually, he's still on him. They got the ages and now are they gonna get Xiang Sai? Yes, they are no buybacks for either of the heroes, but oh X Shadow might go down, PKB activated toys, demonic perch onto Johnny, should be an easy kill. This all later now finished on Green finally as well. They get Johnny. No buybacks on any of those three heroes. And well Are we finally looking at tracks for milk because Arrow? I mean to be honest, they they've been practicing their patting hand or throwing hand because they threw so hard. Yeah, uh, I am speechless. I'm just looking at who killed the Roshan. So Arrow, they killed the Roshan, but then Queen of Pain stole the Ages. So this game is... I don't know. It's starting to spin out of control for Arrow. They were in, they were so firm in control, and all of a sudden, everything is gone. Everything they worked for is completely negated. Yeah, the Shackles yeah, connected him, but they can't even do anything. Finally go for the science, but it was a bait. Blink in, hoofed up. Actually, Sonic Wave is there, so DDC. He's actually pretty damn tanky, more than I would have given him credit for, but he has a buyback. Power goes down, but can they actually get the Rex as well? Four heroes are alive. I think Milk is, might be backing off, Mosen. Nice, the Echo Slam ready, so he goes in, but just the blink came out before. Lance, trying to chase them down. And well, Rex, they do stand. Wow, that was a very costly defense. Look at the kill score. Milk, in fact, is ahead right now. Wow, Milk Rin with 17 kills, 7 uh, 11 kills, 7 death, 16 assists. All of the stats have started to reverse. It feels like Milk all of a sudden, hey, they're racking in the gold, they're getting the towers. They, they're leading in XP. Believe it or not, they are leading in XP. We have not seen this happen past the 10 minute mark. And all of a sudden, game on. The, the kill score is 33 to 31. It's been a close game, but it's also been somewhat awkward. 
Yeah, it definitely has been. And actually for Milk, three of their cores do have buybacks. The Enigma, Queen of Pain and the Weaver. And actually Enigma's Black Hole is still on 40 sec 42 second cooldown. It's actually pretty long. And I don't know. They need, they absolutely need to get some pickoffs here to go high ground. And of course, just maybe even a PKB at some point. A Razor, for example, so he wouldn't just straight out die. Right now we're looking at a lot of ultimate orbs. We have one on Mozen, on the Earthshaker, one on DDZ, on the Wind Ranger, one on the Weaver, one on the Queen of Pain, uh, played by Rin and X Shadower. But we have no idea what they're making. My guess is Arrow, they're going to be going for the Scythe of Ice. But X Shadower and Rin, are they going to be going for Lincolns or are they going to be going for a Scythe of Ice of their own? Well, I guess the Weaver might be going for Lincolns, although actually Hex wouldn't be bad at all, I think, even on the Weaver. It doesn't give him too much damage, but then again, so doesn't think and Queen of Pain, oh, the Stampede comes out, another stun onto the lands. The Sonic Wave onto four heroes as well, just beautiful setup. Xiang Sai barely makes it out, but now he goes down as well, Yomo. Just goes for the solo black hole onto DDZ, trying to try to do some damage, but Impet just doesn't help against PKB. DDZ gonna get slowed down, double edge to get the kill. Rin, he's, a, he's on a monster kill streak, triple kill. And well, once again, no buybacks at all. Only the Earthshaker has the buyback, and I, ironically enough. He was the only one getting out. Uh, the saving grace right there though is that mid lane is pushing in. So Milk can't really capitalize on getting 4 kills. Instead they have to retreat and go and defend. But... Man... I am just pondering like what is Arrow thinking right now? What's happening on their communication end? Uh, you... What are they saying to each other? Are they pretty upset or... With the internet or with the... With the computers? Because I really feel this is, if Milk wins this game, it, it was a definite throw from Arrow. I think it might have to do something with uh, them just giving away the game one forfeit against the Insidious Idol to begin with. And from there on, yes, they won the game, the second game against the Insidious Idol. But maybe they were just, yeah, screw it guys, it's like, meh. Not taking it seriously anymore because of that, but I have no idea because... From a team of that caliber, in general, just them being to TI4 and stuff. That shouldn't oh. affect them, but we will see. They still have a chance, but range racks, they're gonna go down Rin. Just right clicking away. And X Shadow, he's just standing in the front line. Yomo, he blinks in. Johnny, he's dropping so extremely low Rin. Activate his PKB, no untouchables will stop him. Gonna go for the melee racks, probably gonna get it as well. Or actually, might still have to back off PKB. It's already down to 4 seconds for him. Or will they just stay around and go for the Rex? I'm still waiting for Mozen. Still waiting for Mozen for the big godly Echo Slam. But oh, look, he's so far happened. away, he's never gonna get it if he stays on the opposite side of the base. You can always pop a smoke and just wait behind. But, holy crap, that this is some insane stuff. Coucher, do you really want to look at the golden XP graph? It would drive you nuts. Especially the XP. I mean, I think it's... Oh! <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Holy crap! A 35,000 XP swing across 20 minutes. A little bit Holy less. Yeah, crap. about 20 minutes, I would say. Cold. <laughs> They're actually in the lead. Man. Man. What is this game? <laughs> what are we watching? We are watching La 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 La. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. <sighs> and Kompaku, Yomo, is up to 4k gold on the Enigma now. I'm hoping for a refresher, silently. But of course, probably just saving for buyback and boots of travels, maybe. I want to see Aghanim's refresher. Enigma, people tend to forget he can go for the Aghanim Scepter upgrade. But it's such a such a late game extension, you know? You would much rather have to refresh all than the Aghanim Scepter. But imagine if he ever gets there. But well, there's an I aggressive guess... smoke. Link and his finished on the Weaver. Hex up on X Shadower, Screen of Pain. And DDZ, if he gets caught out, he just went for the scout, but now Rin, he actually reveals himself. There's the Stampede, the Hoofstorm comes out onto Lance once again. Can they get the kill? They've done so so many times to Black Hole is there. Sonic Wave onto two. And DDZ together with Lancer down, the two main damage sources and Xiang sign up. He might get the kill on toys, but it's a small consolation as the Fisher comes out as well. Blink by Yomo. Malpa is gonna come on cool on one second. Xiang Sai gonna go for the TPL. Can they get vision? Yomo! Yes! It is enough for oh. Right clicks. And actually they well, chased I... down Chony as well, so. 
let's see, are there any buybacks coming out? Who has buyback? No buyback. Weaver. Earthshaker, oh, no. again. <laughs> again, oh, the no. only guy to survive has the buyback. And we haven't seen yeah, Echo we... Slams for a long time as well. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say. He actually might just be saving it for this one, right? This has to be the final defense. All his demons are down. Nobody has buyback for another 20, 30 seconds. He has to be able to do something big, but no! Mosin! What has what have we just witnessed? He gets picked off standing near the tier 4. Man, Rin, he just wants to go all in. He knows, hey, there's nobody stopping us right now. All the heroes are down. We can just take the tier 4s and possibly end the game right here, right now. Well, Centaur is tanking them, man. Power is practically dying themselves, although not a single heart. The strength aspect of the Centaur isn't actually that high. But looks like this is going to be GG, Milk. They're gonna win game number one unless I wrote they pull off something amazing lands, going for the refresher orb, double eye of the storm. Is it gonna be enough? Be sure it's there as well to buy some time. La 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 la. PKB activated Sonic Wave on lands. And actually they get one kill. Xiaxai comes in as well. Rin, he might even fall down the Lincoln's popped. He goes down 1.4k gold. But buyback, time lapse in. They're just focusing, but Rin, stun locked. Can they get the kill on him? Yes, they can! Oh, oh are you That's kidding me? No! Weaver, he's down. It was a tieback as well. Although Lance oh, is down oh, as well, oh, oh. so I mean, Queen of Pain <laughs> as well as the center have buybacks, but this game 150 HP on the Ancient. That that was all that they needed to do. It's this the ultimate Game of Throws season five. Oh, oh dear God, that? we get early preview of what's going on for next year. This is great. <laughs> oh man, if Arrow can come back from this. I don't know. It's it's gonna be like replay of the week at the very least. <laughs> well, what's good for them is of course they only have to push out one lane in theory. No other lanes are constantly gonna be pushing in and... Holy crap! That... I mean, I understand we were trying to do that. If it would have been really fast and actually thought long and hard about it. Of course it was like a spur of the moment anyway. But just sell his hand of Midas, get a new BKB, 10 second duration. Would have been probably ancient down, but he would have had to act really fast as well to do so to actually get the time lapse, lapse back into the enemy base. But Arrow, they want to. Well, actually, they're not going to be able to force any buybacks anyway, I think. I mean, even if Melee Rex fall, Milk, I don't think they want to just expend a 5 second buyback. Wow, well, yeah, they're there? definitely not going to be doing it. And Weaver can't do it. So it's going to be a 4 on 5 for the next 20 seconds. Oh, they're going seconds. for counter GG. They have the Eye of the Storm, not the double one, unfortunately, for them. Or are they just going for it? They're going for it. Oh man. Viewers going to be back in 10 seconds. Xiaxa, he goes in. Dream Coil is there on three heroes. Silence as well. Actually, they're just buying time. One tier four goes down, but the Hex is there on Puck. Is he going to lose his life? He most likely is Yomo. He has the black hole as well. Can he actually get close to Stampede? Should help enough. The black hole catches two TDC. Unfortunately for Yomo, he gets out of it. Because there's the Sonic Wave. Two heroes blown up completely. DDC. Green. Just the physical damage is too much. The money perch as well. And la 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 la. He just stays alive as Johnny. Might get chased down here and indeed he's double H to help out Rin. The last Triclex finish him up. Xiangxai goes down as TDZ. He had a buyback. So does Johnny. But the rest they don't. This has to be GG, right? Like, this can't keep happening. I'm getting cold sweat all over. It's like, holy crap, who is gonna win this game? It's been from going from tier 4s to tier 4s. Back and forth. But this time, Arrow. They need to use all the buybacks they have, and that's it. They still have three heroes who are on the sidelines for another minimum of 30 seconds. Oh. Wow, how are they going to be able to hold? How is DDZ and Johnny going to be able to do this? DDZ might, it, might not have order. been able to do anything, but he was behind this tree here. Uh, Queen of Pain blinked here, and they didn't see each other. And well, it's still GG call. Johnny even gets sexed up and Ancient is going to go down, man. What a game. Sick game. Oh man, <laughs> I bet the Arrow Gaming fans are hella pissed, but ultimately, man, it's some beautiful plays, coordination between Milk after all, like some of the team fights have been phenomenal, using the Centaur Stampede, letting Enigma run in, getting the black hole, and then just dropping the Sonic Wave, Centaur walks in with another Stampede, double edge, just huge, huge, massive AoEs. Yeah, well, in the end, Arrow, they maybe just a few PKBs a little bit earlier on would have been enough to just stay alive in the fights, get a few counter kills, get racks. 
But we will never know as Drink Milk, of course, really well played by them, really well coordinated, like you pointed out as well. So guys, Arrow Gaming, can they actually win game number two now? Because if they don't, they're probably out of this tournament, not gonna get into the playoffs. But we shall see Arrow, they definitely want to give us a stronger showing and actually not throw as hard as they did now. But guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to follow us as well on this channel as well as Hefla TV too. And check out our social media, all of them are Hefla TV on both Facebook, Twitter and even VK for the Russian viewers. But we're just gonna jump into game number two's lobby guys, so don't go anywhere.